what makes Port Moody an amazing place to live, work, and play? We'll show you today on The Express. On today's show, five dollars a ball to dunk the mayor. I talk the good life with the mayor of Port Moody. Well, today is a rainy day, right? Yeah. Even on a rainy day, Port Moody is beautiful. My meditation session ends with a strike from the Tibetan bowl. Melanie gets her aura cleansed at Veracis Wellness. Now the Campanola Panini and Sal. Amy offers up free lunch at Nicolina's Cafe. How's the suspension feel there? It feels amazing. And Evan hits the trails for mountain bike season. All that and more, Port Moody Local Expression. Port Moody is known as the City of the Arts. That includes gallery exhibitions like this one, The Flow of Emotions at the Port Moody Arts Center. It includes performing arts and healing arts. And that's where we're starting our show, with four ways to relax in Moody. Veracis offers day and evening fitness classes. Here it is, you need to sign up fast because they fill up pretty quick especially the spirit and yoga classes. You can find out more at their website. In the meantime, we're sticking arts and moving ceramics because also busy this week, spring comes at the Port Moody Arts Center. I'm not sure what this is. Coming up, it's the importance of art at any age. Um, because art teaches you that not everything has to be done the same way, that you, you can look at life a little differently, you can make different choices. Your best-selling hummingbird feeder. Well, our number one feeder is this one. Uh, it's called... Plus, a visit to the Backyard Bird Center. Next step for Pat, performing aboard Princess Cruise Lines. Now, you are watching our Port Moody Work and Play special. A chance to get to know the people like Pat, the places, and the purpose of this artsy and adventurous community. Coming up, the 2009 Wearable Art Awards. Well, our, our emphasis on the art and not on and the uh, so much the wearable. It's not something you would ever see on the street. It feels amazing. It's like the bike's not even there. <laughs> and some of the best mountain biking in BC. Besides the muddy mountain bikers, another sure sign of spring, hummingbirds. Now we all know the little guys move pretty fast, so we have some tips on choosing the right feeder that will attract the most birds. Welcome back to our Express Port Moody Special, exploring what makes this city a great place to live, work, play, perform with a local theater camp, and eat. It's time for free lunch at an eatery that the locals say is just like Cheers. Port Moody offers lots of dining options, everything from lattes to five-course meals. As for the shopping scene, you have the upscale Newport Center and the eclectic Moody Village. But the thing this city is most known for being the city of the arts. And today on the Express, we're at the center of it all. We know that Port Moody is the city of the arts, but I didn't know there were so many young artists around. Born to it. What kind of camps are you offering for spring break? We do full day camps where the children do visual art in the morning and they do ceramic art in the afternoon. We do a full day camp of theater art. Then you might want to try the princess, I mean. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, get the princess. Get it. Obviously, there's a big focus in this community of encouraging art. Why is that? Why do you think art's important as lifelong learning? Um, because art teaches you that not everything has to be done the same way, that you, you can look at life a little differently, you can make different choices. And it also encourages children to make creative choices, so they learn to think for themselves, and it, it just goes all the way through their, their life, is being better people. Oh, better people, I love that. And I, it's great too that they have the connection with all the exhibits upstairs. I mean, there's yep. the five different exhibits on right now. Yep. A chance for the kids to see the stuff there and coordinate that into the work they're doing. Yep, and the, the students here have been upstairs and had a look at the 
3D gallery and, and have had a little talk about how that works. They've been for a tour of the kiln area, so they see what happens to their work once it leaves here. And then they come in and it gives them a better opportunity to understand what they're doing and where it's heading. Very different ideas of what you do, right? Oh, I like this one. I did that one. You did that one? Oh. It's our live, work, and play special. You appear to be the appropriate guy to talk to, Mayor Trasolini, because you have uh, some connection with that slogan. Well, it's interesting that uh, 12 years ago, the slogan was not as uh, commonplace as it is now. And I remember running for council with that slogan, live, work, and play, a complete community. 